Hey, welcome back. In the next few videos, we're going to be looking at using Docker for programming and code, uh, uh, software development and stuff like that. But as you can see, because I'm using VirtualBox, this is a virtual machine, this Ubuntu is on a virtual machine, uh, I'm running out of space. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to be showing you how we can remove all Docker containers and images. So let's close this one first. And then if we list all the Docker, containers we haven't got anything running at the moment but we can have a look at the one that we've run before there's quite a few of them and the way I'm gonna be deleting all of them is gonna say docker docker rm to remove images and then dollar sign and then I'm gonna put these um, into uh, the parentheses so what this command is saying is that get the result of docker ps minus a and then pass the result as an argument to docker remove to be able to remove all the containers that we've used before as you can see some of them don't want to be removed for some reason so let's have a look at uh, what we still have no nothing as oh, they've, all, they've all gone which is very good um i'm going to be doing the same thing so let's remove the docker images let's list the images that we have uh, in the next few videos, we'll download a fresh image, so at least we have some space to play around with. If we list all the images, and now to remove an image, is docker rmi, rmi, to remove an image. So let's list all the images, docker images, and then put this into docker, uh, into dollar parentheses, so we can pass the output of this command as an argument to docker rmi, docker to remove image. So rm, docker rm. To remove a container docker rmi so the i stands for image to remove an image hit enter and it should be removing the images if it complains then uh let's have a look at the result do we still have any images the answer is no but if it complains then you can say rmi minus f to force the the deletion or the removal of docker images i hope that makes sense let's stop here and we'll continue in the next video as we mentioned by starting to use Docker for software development. And yeah, see you then.